Hello, and thank you guys for tuning in to Starting Small. As you know, Starting Small Summit is just around the corner, and here I am joined with Stacy Madison. Only a year and a half later, uh, we, to- we talked on the Starting Small podcast. Super honored to have uh, you to Indiana. It's truly an honor to have you on this panel, Stacy. Thank you so much for taking the time. I am so excited because this is actually the first panel that I'm doing in person. Wow. Wait, wait. First but panel. Then I'm going all the way to, my God, you are not wow. close. I'm in Boston. Yeah. <laughs> You're all the way in Indiana. <laughs> so like in, in your career, this is your first panel or since when? No, it's the first time. It's person? the first panel in the, during, because of the pandemic. Got it. Got it. So I, I've done lots of panels, but they're all Zoom. Yeah. That's really exciting. It's funny because uh, we're actually, Joe Foster, the founder of Reebok, we're his first time back to the United States since COVID. So your first live wow. panel, he's flying to the States for the first time since COVID. So there's a, this event is bringing a lot of excitement for our, our speakers and our audience for sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it feels good to, to get out there and, um, and I'm telling you, I, I enjoyed our, our interview so much a year and a half ago that, you know, from, I mean, I was very happy to commit to doing it. Man. So, yeah, and I'm, I'm, yeah, obviously, everybody's sick of Zoom, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited, and um, I'm curious, and all the, the listeners, I'm sure, are curious as well. What have you been up to, maybe since our, our conversation, our last talk on the podcast, what has your life kind of been like with managing Be Bold Bars and your personal ventures as well? Yeah, so, um, you know, we're, obviously, we're launching Be Bold Bars. We launched the month before the pandemic hit, and um, and we're no strangers to adversity and we're not, um, you know, we're going through the same things that everybody else is going through the same challenges. So, you know, it's really, it, it's really hard, but we took the time uh, during the pandemic to try to get solid on our messaging, to teach the consumer that bars are not just found in the bar aisle that, you know, there's a whole refrigerated section that, you can get um, yeah, what that means to have such a fresh bar. And we redid our um, packaging. We launched two new flavors, the macadamia and the cashew. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, those things all take time. Definitely. But, you know, our, our goal during the last two years um, when this pandemic, it was really, you know, let's just keep our head above water and um, still be here. Yeah. When this, when this is over we didn't expect it obviously nobody expected this to be going on so long but you know um i i think we're getting better and better at managing the pivot it, it was a big pivot for a lot of people definitely so. so yeah during that period i actually uh worked for dr jonathan levine he's actually one of our, our panel speakers he uh formulated this company called twice toothpaste and one of his patients is lenny kravitz the american senior um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So, yeah. so they made a they made this company called Twice Toothpaste, an oral care startup. And that, over COVID, it, I was working with Dr. Levine's brands, his his uh, family of brands, and very similar practices. I'm curious. I know Be Bold is much virtual. Some of your team is like in different states as well, correct? And what does that look like? For yeah, you we've got our COO is in Chicago. We've got another person working out of California. Somebody in Florida. You know, we were like that anyway. Okay. Even beforehand, because. You know, we really, you know, we have our, our team of people that, you know, mostly were with us during the pita chip company or even after we sold people mm-hmm. who have worked on the brand, who I greatly respect, have um, joined us. And um, so, it, you know, it, it's, that's why people are, are, you know, I mean, listen, we've been having people work from everywhere for a long time. So definitely. Um, but, you know, I mean, this is Women's History Month, too. So being on, you know, being able to um, be on some panels. I'm, one, I'm on one at the Trillium Brewery. That's, own, you know, that's a female founder awesome. um, in Boston. And um, I was just featured in this book that is, it's so cool. It's, I'm chapter two. <laughs> but it's this book. It's called 15 Fearless Female Entrepreneurs. Wow. And it's written for young adults. Mm. So it's kind of told from the perspective of, you know, what challenges did you face in junior high? I mean, everybody hates junior high. And so, you know, like all stuff like that. And it's really interesting wow. 
so yeah, I mean, I've been doing kind of, you know, a lot of fun stuff like that. I've been interviewing some other women, um, uh, you know, just people I respect. And so, you know, that's, that's on my, Insta on, on my, the Instagram. And I've also been, my, my twins are now 18 and going off to college in the fall. So I've been all over the country touring schools. Definitely. Now that's that you can exciting. go in person, so. That's awesome. Well, yeah, a lot of chaos, but but chaos, I love chaos. <laughs> yeah, especially yeah during this time, I couldn't even imagine. I'm a student myself, as you know, a senior. Um, wow, yeah, it's two students going into college. That's that's a lot of work, it's, especially with what's going on right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know they're both going at the same time, so it'll be hard. But I'm really I'm <laughs> proud of them. That's really I'm exciting. Really proud of them. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, I'm well, proud of the journey they're kind of setting off to take. For sure. Excited well, for them. To the listeners out there, um, when I proposed starting Small Summit to both my university to put, help put this on, and then when selecting this panel, I kind of want to share why I was really intrigued with selecting Stacy. And um, I selected Joe Foster, the founder of Reebok, covering sports and apparel, Dr. Jonathan Levine covering healthcare. And then I was thinking, who could cover the food and beverage that has one of the most inspiring stories on my podcast, who I really look up to. And the first thing that came to mind, first name was Stacy. And when I, when I reached out to you, I was, when I reached out, I was like, wow, she, she replied and said she's willing to do this. So, I mean, first of all, just to have Stacy come to the summit on our first summit is really exciting and such an honor, um, especially with such an amazing career that you have, you've had. Um, so I wanted to plug that in there. Also, Stacy, Stacey, just uh, as we do the live event and the interview um, at the summit, I'm curious, what is like a leadership practice that has shaped your career that you looked to kind of share? Uh, at the summit, maybe with Stacy's Peterships and Be Bold Bars. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, I think this this pandemic is a perfect example mm -hmm. on you know, like setting realistic goals for yourself and and being prepared to pivot. You know, when I when I used to speak and, and talk to people and and when I was living through it at the Pita Chip Company when um you know we used to refer to it as you know being on a roller coaster ride where there's those ups and the downs and the ups and the downs and it's yeah. kind of like you know what that that still like that doesn't change mm. and that doesn't go away and you know and listen if you're gonna if you're um gonna give up when the, on that you know listen to that, that slow truck up the hill and and down the i mean it's just ongoing Definitely. so it you know you can't you can't give up and those who, and there's a lot of people who do. Mm. And there's a lot of people who can't handle that kind of, um, that kind of yo-yoing and boomeranging and, you know, yeah. you have to have the gut for it. Definitely. Definitely. Well, as we wrap up here, uh, the listeners, I'm not sure if they're aware yet, but I'm so honored, Stacy. again, thank you so much for, uh, the listeners are actually getting to try be bold bars at the summit. That's really exciting. Um, that every listener listening right now, um, you guys will get to try Stacy's brand, Be Bold Bars, protein bars directly at the summit. So when you attend, you'll try, each attendee gets to try. It's really exciting. Thank you again, Stacy. Yeah, and I'm, you know, I, I'd love for people to follow me on, on my Instagram, but that aside, Cameron, you, I want, you are a rock star yourself. And I am just so proud of you for, you know, senior year, I mean, I compare you to Guy Raz. You know what oh, I mean? You, you are how I built this. That, that the, means you know, so much. <laughs> your own accord. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stacey. That, that really means a lot coming from you too. And uh, again, I'm really looking forward to it. It's just around the corner. I cannot yeah, wait to meet you in person. Can't wait to meet you in person.